Hi there, welcome to Use and DIY, my name's Ben. In this video, I'm gonna control this DJI drone from the MetaQuest 3. Okay, so other videos I've done have been experimenting a little bit more with the MetaQuest 3, trying to push the boundaries even further than what's possible with this. So connecting up uh, external displays into there using capture cards, I'll link up here in the, in the uh, video. Uh, and then we've done things with side loading applications onto it. So I've been thinking about other stuff to do. And the other day I was gonna fly my drone and I thought, what if I can control or fly my drone using the headset? So I can get a view of the drone inside there rather than using my screen. So I thought the idea is headset on, outside, pass through, flying the drone with the view of the drone, with the DJI app in front of me, controlling obviously with a controller, but with full pass through so I can still see it. Um, it's almost like military style with the headset, with the drone in the drone view in my eye, but I can see things as well. So what I've done so far, so I have side loaded the DJI Go 4 application onto the headset. So side loading with this is uh, this way that I've done it using SideQuest. Again, there are other videos. I'm not going to go through the detail on this video, but I will link in the description to another video that I've linked to before with a full guide around SideQuest and how to side load applications. Really easy to do, not a massive process, just takes a little bit of time to get going. And once you've done it, you can basically load Android APK or Android applications onto the headset because this essentially is um, an Android operating system running on this. So, so far I have downloaded the APK onto my laptop. I've side loaded it on here and I've got it ready and installed. I've not set it up, not done anything. So first things first, I've got my drone here. I'm gonna switch my drone on, get things connected up here, and hopefully we'll have a view of the drone inside the headset. So I'll get things set up here, then we'll jump inside the metaverse. Okay, so this is a DJI Spark drone. It's quite an old drone now. Um, it does HD 1080p videos, not 4K. I've had a couple of crashes in the past with it before, so they've got like a light cover missing here and a couple of scuffs and scratches, but it works and it gets me good footage when I need it. So let's switch this on. So that's the drone on waiting there. I've got my handset here. So that's the drone coming on. I'm gonna turn this on as well. So my uh, handset's on as well, the controller is on. So usually with this, you would clamp in your phone in there and you would kind of look there and have to look up and down, up and down. So my, my thinking is, pass through on the headset, be brilliant. Um, so hopefully this controller will connect to there, which it has done, I've got the green light on there. So we're kind of ready to go now. So in theory, what I should do is go into the headset, um, connect up to the handset Wi-Fi, I think from memory, that's the way to do it, um, and basically see if it works. So we'll jump inside the headset now. Okay, so I've just recorded all that and I didn't record inside the headset, so I'm gonna do it again. Um, it was successful, let me show you. So let's jump inside the headset and I'm gonna to go to start recording with microphone on. So, in my applications, I think I'm recording now. Am I recording or not? Okay, I'm gonna restart the headset, it's not working. Okay, so I'm gonna jump inside the headset again. Sorry, I didn't record. Um, so let me jump in, I've restarted it now, so let me jump in. Okay, so loading things up now on the, uh, after the restart, let's give it a second. Okay, let's try it again, third time lucky, hopefully. So into camera, record. Okay, we're recording this time, excellent. So let me uh, jump into my applications. So as I said before, that I didn't see because I've had to re-record. If I go to this drop down box, when you've got your side loaded applications, go to unknown sources, and then I've got the DJI Go 4 application there. So what I'll need to do again though, because I did before, is I need to connect this headset to the Wi-Fi of this controller. That's how you connect to the uh, DJI system with the Spark. So I'll click on Wi-Fi. Um, I went there, because I did connect previously when I wasn't recording. So we are now connected via Wi-Fi. So let's go to the DJI Go 4 application, and there you can see straight away we've got a DJI Spark with a Go Fly button. So I'll click on Go Fly. Let me just resize this, it might reset the window. We'll give it a go though. Yeah, as yet. So let me do that again. Spark, go fly. 
Okay, we're inside. So you can see I've got a view now of the camera. So if I hold the camera up, hopefully I can show you me. I'm waving there. That's connected fine. Point at the camera. Point at Matilda over there. Say hello, Matilda. To this camera. Hello. <laughs> so that's connected up fine. Obviously, there's a little bit of latency because there, there is anyway on the DJI camera back to the back to the handset. But that is working fine. So the, the thinking is we're outside. We've got a view of the camera up there. You've got full colour pass through. Kind of giving you, giving you a little bit more um, flexibility, so you're not having to look down at the screen at your screen all the time. Um, so I'm not going to fly it in here because it could be an absolute disaster and probably would be. Um, so when we've got a little bit of better weather because it's currently raining and a bit dark outside, we'll jump outside and get some footage outside. But so far, really good. Quite excited about this. This could uh, kind of change the game a little bit for recording on the um, on my DJI for me. Might look a bit strange stood outside in the headset, but who knows? So let's jump outside and give it a go. Okay, me and Oliver are outside, ready to go. We've got the drone down here. Oliver's going to film on this camera here. I'm going to record inside the headset and give it a go. So let's give it a go now. I'm going to go inside the headset, set off recording, and we'll do it, Oliver. So Oliver's going to film the drone like up in the sky. So I'll get this going, Oliver, one sec. Okay. So you can see I've got pass through. I can see Oliver. Wave, Oliver. Wave at me. Excellent. So I'm going to go into my Wi-Fi. I'm going to connect into the controller down here. Let's record the screen actually while I'm doing it. So screen recording, start the recording. Okay, so I'm recording the screen. So just to show you, first of all, we're in the Wi-Fi, connected to the Spark controller down, the Spark controller down here. So next I'm going to go open this. I'm going to go open the DJI Go application. Oliver's still filming, hopefully. Oliver, you alright? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go into the Spark. And hopefully, if this is working, which it isn't for some reason, Oliver. Get, oh, there we go. We've got Go Fly. Right, so I'm going to Go Fly. And I've got a view of the camera. That's fine. Let's move that over, over there. I'm going to put that to... That view. You ready, Oliver? No. Okay. So I'm going to move this over there a little bit. I'm going to fly the device now. So if you just film the drone, Oliver, yep. I'm going to take it off. Oh, I don't know what's going on here. Oh. Okay. So we've got um, full control there. Let me just cancel that. Okay. So I'm going to take back off again now. All of you ready to record again? Yeah. yeah. I know. Okay, so let's see if we get a live view now. So I can see I've got pass through on the headset. So the image is a little bit delayed on the uh, Android application at the moment. It keeps disconnecting the aircraft. So let's just bring it back down. I'm going to bring it back down to you, Oliver. Yeah? I'm going to land it. Okay, let's try again recording. So let's go open DJI Go app. Connect it to the Wi-Fi again. Let's see if this will work. So Spark, go fly. Okay, so I can see the camera. Let's give it a go. Okay, so there's a little bit of a delay in the app. But you can see I've got full colour pass through. I've got a view of that. Let's do a little 360 with it. It's a little bit delayed from the headset, but it is working. Oh, there we go. It's a little bit more stable now. So we get a bit higher. We'll look down. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, it's kind of caught up a little bit now. So you can see Oliver there. Wave up, up Oliver. 
That's working much better there now, that's cool. Still filming it, Oliver? Okay. Oh, we lost the application. Oh, we're back on, we're back on. I think it's just the controller. Okay. Move the camera again, and let's land it. Okay, so we're testing it now with the MetaQuest 3 headset, the DJI Spark. Um, the uh, application had problems, I think. So I don't know whether it's the um, the headset connecting to the handset over Wi-Fi, whether that was because I'm outside, it wasn't that stable enough. It was a little bit choppy, a little bit of latency in there. So I need to test it a little bit more. Um, I'll probably do it while I'm not filming because it kind of created a bit of an issue and uh, confusion. But fundamentally, it works. So I could see, obviously, the menu or the, the video uh, up, the actual video of the drone itself uh, within the MetaQuest headset, and I could fly it. And the beauty of it was you've got pass through so you can see the drone as well. Um, so yeah, works. I think I need to fine tune it maybe a little bit. Mine, I have got an older drone as well, the Spark Go, Spark Go or the Spark, whatever it's called, is a little, Spark, is a little bit of an older device now. Um, so it might work better with potentially the newer, uh, newer DJI, DJI devices. Uh, but overall, it works. Something else to do with headset, getting that live view through there. Uh, yeah, I'll just keep testing it. So if you like the video, or if it's been informative, or you've enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up, give it a like. If not for any reason, give it a thumbs down, give it a dislike. Uh, if you've got any questions about what I've done, what I've tried, um, maybe ways of improving it, suggestions, please drop that in the comments section. Uh, happy to reply to any, uh, any questions and comments. Um, and if you want to follow the Houston DIY uh, channel for more MetaQuest 3 related videos uh, and other home DIY projects, hit that subscribe button and we'll hopefully see you on another one.